from coffee and selfies. We move on to this week's edition of Check Me Out. Uh, growing up, Wendy Okolo always dreamed of being an engineer. She worked hard to make that dream a reality. And today, she is an aerospace engineer at the intelligence system division, NASA. Let's check her out. You have the world at your fingertips. Don't sleep on it. My name is Wendy Okolo. I'm an aerospace research engineer by day, a fitness enthusiast in the evening, and an inspiring DJ in my head at night. Check me out. I grew up here, I uh, consider myself to have been a regular kid, lived um, in VI, I went to school in Yaba, I went to Queens College, Yaba, and in primary three it was like, oh, we have to tell everybody what we were going to be when we grew up. And uh, I got to my turn and I stood up and I told the class, I'm going to be an engineer. Silence, just like this, and my teacher looked at me and she laughed, you're going to be an engineer? You're gonna be fixing ceiling fans. That's what you're gonna do when you grow up as a girl. And as she laughed, the whole class laughed with her. And I was mortified. I was so embarrassed, I was humiliated. I went home and I told my mother, I said, no, this is not for me, I can't do it. I don't even know what it's about, but I don't wanna do it because I'm gonna be fixing ceiling fans. My mom who said that? I was like, my teacher, my teacher said, she's like, what? My teacher doesn't know what she's talking about but she was able to kind of reaffirm and tell me the cool things that engineers got to do um, and they weren't fixing ceiling fans. So I went to Texas um, to be with my family, to build my big sisters um, for college, for university, and that was exactly what happened. Um, it was just a transition that was natural in my family. What do I miss about Nigeria? Yeah, food. Um, food, food at all times, any type of food I want, particularly fried yam and just having access to yam, yam and more yam. I miss that. I started my bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. I paid attention in class. This is no joke. In undergrad, I was the queen of listening. If I zoned out when someone was speaking, like to think about something, I'd zone back in and ask them what they just said because I had to take every piece of information that came out of the professor's mouth. I knew all these people's library websites and I knew what books they had and I'd get those books and understand and study till I made an A in that class. I do things in the aero and the space world. So for the aero side, I lead a team that is developing the capabilities that will enable autonomy um, and reduce human intervention for unmanned aerial vehicles, what we call drones or things like that in the airspace. And what happens when you have a drone that can fly place to place quickly? What happens when you have an air taxi that can fly autonomously from place to place? To place? It means that you can do emergency operations. It means that you can pick up someone that is incapacitated and take them from one place to another without sitting in traffic. It means that you can transport an organ quickly to a hospital without um, having to deal with traffic. I also work on the space side in developing control technologies that will enable precision landing of a spacecraft. So how can you reduce the footprint of landing something on another planet or bringing something back to Earth? And when you reduce that footprint in terms of you have a smaller area that you can do like a rescue to find the thing or to find the spacecraft, it basically just enables autonomy. To people that want to succeed, and you have to want it, right? It's not just about sitting down and waiting for a mana to fall from heaven or for someone to bring you the answers, the solutions. You have to want it. My name is Wendy Okolo. I'm an aerospace research engineer, and you have just checked me out. Great work, Wendy. Let's now take a quick reminder of our top story today. Nigeria's cashless policy may be threatened as more people are allegedly making cash transactions to avoid the stamp duty on POS. Join us again next week where we'll be checking out Silas Adekunle, the robotics engineer who built the world's first intelligent gaming robot. 
That's where we are drawing the curtains on the program today, but we want you to keep in touch. So connect with us on Twitter at Just Nigeria TV. You can also get more updates from bbc.com for slash Africa and channelstv.com. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I am Wally Fakile. Goodbye.